Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn an interesting and a new topic. People used to say that learning a language or grammar is the hardest job, but actually it doesn't. You may believe it or not, it is one fine easiest way to learn or teach a grammar. The purpose of learning a language or grammar is to communicate or to convert something to the receiver. Such way, the purpose of learning grammar is the language that makes it possible for us to talk about a language. The method of teaching in English or learning in English can be classified into two types. The first one is deductive method and the second one is in deductive method. Let us discuss one by one. In order to learn the method, we should choose a grammar part as a main content. For an example, we shall have simple present tense as our main content. The first type is the deductive method or approach. A deductive approach starts with the presentation of a rule and it is followed by examples. In such way, the rules is being applied. For an example, we have taken the topic simple present tense. According to this method, the mentor clearly explains what simple present tense is. The formation of simple present tense is also clearly explained by the mentor. The simple present tense rules are number one, it follows the pattern of subject plus verb one which means present verb plus object and if it is a statement it should have full stop number two when it comes to the third person singular the letter yes or the letters yes should be added Number third, for universal truth, habitual action and for the future planned action, the present tense could be used. Here is some examples for simple present tense. The blood is red. It is being an example for universal truth. Number two. I wake up in the early morning. It is an example for habitual action. Number third, I go to the Chennai tomorrow. It is being an example for future planned action. In simple, the deductive approach states the rules first and the examples next. Now, let us see the second type. The second type is the indirective approach or method. In this method, the examples are being stated at the first through which the rules are formed. Here is some examples for simple present tense. Number one, the sky is blue. It is an example for universal truth. Number two, I go to school daily. It is an example for habitual action. Number three, I go to Chennai tomorrow. It is being an example for future planned action. Now you now understand. The rules of simple present tense are followed are found by the examples 
hope you understand the topic clearly these are the two types how we can learn grammar in a easier story with that we shall see a next interesting topic in our next video with that bye bye see you